dear students, uh, today we will discuss the Stephen Boltzmann constant of Paradise. First, what is mean by Stephen Boltzmann constant? So, the Stephen Boltzmann constant in this radiation, we have to study already. The MSC power is, it is directly proportional to the area measured and the fourth power of temperature. So, by removing the proportionality, we can introduce the constant is sigma. So, the sigma is something but the Stephen Boltzmann constant. So, in this setup, uh, we can see there is will be a specification given. So, there will be a hemispherical enclosure is there. The, in, uh, the hemispherical enclosure diameter is 200 mm and the diameter of the water jacket for hemisphere is 260 mm and the base plate is the base plate is the hilum diameter that will be given uh, in the bottom of this hemispherical disc this hilum base plate is given so this value is 240 mm and the, this is a test disc the test disc diameter is 20 mm and the specific heat of test disc the CP value is 0.4168 kilojoules per kg kelvin and the number of thermocouples can be mounted on this the enclosure will be 4 and the number of thermocouples will be mounted on this the test plate will be 1 and there will be a, a inversion water capacity that will be a 2000 watts and the mass of the test disc the mass of test disc will be given a 0 0.008 kg so these are the standard specifications given for the experiment so in this experiment so there will be a the bottom there will be a water, the water can be filled, the normally we have to take it from the 7 liters of water can be filled and after the filling the water, we have to switch on this heater. So the water is can be gets heated. So this temperature is, is for water temperature. So we have to, when the water temperatures will be reaches up to 80 degrees centigrade, the water is can be get heated and we have to switch on this heater. After the water can be reaches 80 degrees centigrade, so we have to switch on this heater and note on this reading right and after that so by by adjusting by open this wall by open this wall so the hot waters can be going down into the hemispherical disc so the waters can be filled so when the waters can be filled on this hemispherical disc so by seeing this wall by seeing this wall so when the waters can be overflow so the waters can be coming out this pipe so at this stage so we have to close this wall we have to close this wall and note down the the three different readings in this hemispherical disc that will be taken for t2 and a t3 and a t4 there will be a three different positions we have to note it down the temperature t2 and t3 and t4 right so so we have to note it down the t1 temperature and next the hemispherical enclosure disc that will be taken from t2 and t3 and t4 so after this we can just insert the, the test disc. The insert the, the test disc will be the bottom portion. So we have to insert the test disc at the bottom portion. There will be a small hole will be provided. So we have to insert the test disc. So after this, what will be happen means after inserting the test disc, so the radiation, so the radiations can be reflected on this test disc. So at this time, we have to note it down for every 10 seconds. So the every 10 seconds, we have to note it down the respective temperature. The respective temperature will be T5, right? So the refer so this is a tabulation. So after inserting the test disc bottom of the hemispherical disc, so the radioactive the test disc to absorb by heat by radiation. So after this, we have to note it down the every 10 seconds every 10 seconds what is the respective temperature so the temperature will be displayed on the screen the temperature will be displayed on the screen so there will be is t5 so you see this this is a tabulation already we i say that the temperature of hot water there will be 80 degree centigrade note it down after that the temperature of the hemispherical test disc surface so that there will be a three different point we have to take in the temperature no t2 and t3 and t4 that temperature will be noted down this first tabulation after the second tabulation the tabulation is nothing but observation of test disc temperature after inserting the test disc so we have to note it down due to the radiation what is the temperature that will be so first 10 seconds we have to note it down 
for the respective temperature. Like that, we have to note it down consecutively the every 10 seconds. What is the temperature? So when this temperature will be same for the two consecutive, the temperature will be same. So at this state, this steady state, we have to stop this experiment. So after noting down for all the temperatures T1 and T2 and T3 and T4. So next we have to go for the formula used for the Stephen Boltzmann constant. Already we know that for the radiation falling on the disk on the hemispherical enclosure, we noted down the general formula for MEC power E is equal to, already we know the formula, E is equal to sigma A into T power 4. So in this for experiment, the area is equal to area for the test disk and Ts is equal to average surface temperature of the enclosure. Average surface temperature of enclosure. So, already we know that the area of the test disk, the area of the test disk is the formula, the pi by 4 d square. The diameter of the enclosure is given. So, we can use this formula, find out the area of the test disk. And average surface temperature of enclosure. So, that value so you should be find out before going to formula. So, the the test disk for the surface temperature for the enclosure, the formula is T2 plus T3 plus T4 by 3. So already we know that the value of T2 and T3 and T4, substitute the values in this formula, find out the average surface temperature of enclosure. So after find out the, all the values, we can find out the MEC power of the test disk. So MEC power of the disk is equal to sigma AD into TD power 4. So that formula we can use and TD already what is the TD? The TD already know that TD is equal to temperature of the test disk. The temperature of test disk value means T5. I will tell you the T1 is the temperature of hot water and T2 and T3 and T4 is the average surface temperature of hemispherical enclosure and T5 the temperature refers to the test disk temperature. So already we know the formula, the net energy transfer on the disk. The net energy transfer of the disk is equal to MCP delta T. Already we know that Q is equal to MCP delta T. So by equating this formula, so Q is equal to MCP delta T. So MCP delta T is equal to sigma into AD into TD power 4 minus TS power 4. So this is a MSC power formula. This is a net energy transfer on the disk. So Q is equal to Right? Instead of Q, we can substitute MCP delta T. So in this formula, M is already given in the specification. The M value is equal to 0 0.008 kg. And the CP is equal to specific heat of the test disk is given in the specification. And next one, we have to find out the DT by DT. So what is the DT means? This is a temperature and this is a time. How do you find out DT and D capital, small d capital temperature difference dt by d small dt so you already you taken from the values from the second observation from the time and temperature so by using this table we have to plot into the graph you have to plot into the graph in the graph for x axis for the temperature and y axis is refers to time we have to plot all the values in this graph responding the temperature to time so we have to plot the values and we have to connect all the values in a slanting line so in this slanting line so we have to so this is a model graph i'll show so this is all the values will be noted down for the temperature and this is a time we have to all plot all the values and connect all the values so and we have to draw the triangle so this the vertical portion is refers to time and horizontal portion that values refers to temperature so we have to note it down for temperature and time by using this graph and substitute the values in this formula so we get the value for dt and d small t so equal to sigma the Stephen Boltzmann constant you should be find out and AD, AD is equal to area of the test disk the area of the test disk I already told you pi by 4 d square that value is you have to take it down. And the TD is equal to temperature of the disk. That value is the T5. Already we have. And the TS value is average surface temperature value. Already we got it by using this formula. T2 and T2 plus T3 plus T4 by 3. So we have to substitute all this value in this formula. Only unknown is sigma. 
So the sigma is nothing but Stefan Boltzmann constant. So by substituting all the values in this formula, finally we got sigma in this experiment. So you should be find out a Stefan Boltzmann constant. So thank you.